Peace, everyone. <laughs> so we're in day four of our Love Yourself Up challenge. And um, I am extremely emotional right now because I just finished doing my affirmations and my journal work. And when you do work, when you do inner work, when you allow the pro when you trust in the process and allow it to unfold and guide you in the direction where it's supposed to, um, healing happens and you're guided in directions that you wouldn't even imagine that you will be directed in. And also what happens is that the medicine is right on time. The words of wisdom is right on time. That particular theme that you, you know, uh, that you didn't realize is what you need to work on comes into your life right on time. And so um, I say that because today I, I've been struggling. I was having a really hard emotional day today. And, um, and the question, the journal question was, what are aspects about yourself that you're struggling with? And it gave me an opportunity to really face this dragon right in the face to figure out, okay, what's really going on? Why am I feeling this way? Like I was, we were talking about emotional vocabulary yesterday and um, the importance that the more, um, the, the more vast that your emotional vocabulary is, the easier it is to decipher what's happening within you. And it's the same thing with journaling as well. That's why journal, journaling is so powerful because again, we uh, our, our thoughts are constantly running amok, you know, 24 seven. And if you can take some time to just sit and to really dissect what's happening, then you can get clearer on what's going on with you emotionally. And then you can also get that clarity on how to move forward with it. So since I'm leading this challenge and I'm gonna be completely transparent and just share my story with you in hopes that it would inspire some of you out there on some level, I'm having a hard time with um, being accepted. I'm having a hard time being accepted by a particular family member. And because um, I went home over the weekend. So, you know, when you go home and you're around family, you know, things come up, you know, because there's a lot of just complex psychology that goes along with, with family, with siblings, because these are people that you didn't necessarily choose to, to be connected to. And so you're forced to deal, you know, if you don't quite get along and then you're kind of forced to deal with each other and maybe it's jealousy issues or maybe because you're siblings, you're so similar, you see aspects about yourself and that other sibling. And so therefore you, you know, find yourself resisting against that sibling in a passive aggressive way. I don't know. It's every family is different. Um, but um, so what I realized is that I thought I had gotten over a particular um, emotional I, I thought I had gotten over a particular issue with, with a, um, a relative of mine. And I realized today that I didn't. I realized that it still hurts. I realized that I have this longing to be accepted by this particular family member. And so this journal gave me an opportunity to, to realize that. And so what happens next? Well, they say that all healing starts with an, with an awareness. And so I'm aware of it. So now it's just giving me an opportunity to continue um, just loving myself through it, which was another perfect uh, medicine that came with today's task is looking in the mirror and saying, I love you uh, for, for five minutes. And I did it for exactly five minutes. You know, I looked in the mirror and just kept saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. And then having an affirmation today, which was, um, uh, what was affirmation? I can't remember by heart, but um, realizing that, the, that I forgive myself for what happened in the past and realize there's no mistakes, but only lessons. And it was just all so perfect. And keep in mind that like I kind of designed this this challenge about a week ago, you know, so I didn't realize that I was going to be feeling what I was feeling today. So it was just all absolutely perfect. And so, um, so I guess that's the question. You know, there's the awareness that there's aspects about myself that I am not too happy about, but then how to move forward with it is just to continue loving myself, continue coming from a place of gratitude, continuing reminding myself all the blessings I do have in my life, focusing on what's good, what's working, the fact that I have a husband that loves me, I have two parents that love me, I have an amazing tribe of friends that are just writers to the end with me. And so um, I hope that this inspires you in some way out there. If any of you are struggling with any aspect about yourself, the best thing for you to do is in the easiest, simplest solution is to go back to that state of gratitude, to, to, to remind yourself of what's good in your life, to remind yourself of the, the amazing, awesome aspects about, about, about your personality. So, um, yeah, that was my share. That's my share this evening. Um, it was really, really powerful. And again, I just can't stress enough that if you really, truly allow yourself to go deep and to heal and to, uh, say, okay, spirit, God, 
creator, whatever, you know, resonates with you of how you address the, your higher self. If you just completely surrender, um, to that and make that intention that you do want to heal, you do. There's a reason why some of you were drawn to want to do this challenge this week, you know, about love yourself up because some of you realize that there's definitely some aspects of yourself that you're not completely accepting that you're still, you know, by default focusing on the negative aspects of yourself and you want to break that chain. But the only way that you can do it is if you do the work. If you trust in the work, it's the only way. And I'm speaking from experience. I've been on this path for since, geez, I don't know, I guess been really fully committed since 2009, on and off since 2009, but really fully set that intention since then. And it's just, you know, of course, it's going to be ebbs and flows. But as long as you just, whew, you know, even when you when you go through those those um, resistance, those, those states of resistance, and when you don't want to move forward, and when you're just like, fuck it, I just want to numb out. You know, even in those moments, still love yourself, love yourself to health, love yourself to balance. You know, even if you can find little one little aspect about yourself that you love, you know, even if it means like focusing on like a significant other that loves you or a friend that you know, that's that's down, you know, to the very end, you know, because we it's just a matter of changing perspective. OK, it, it really is, because when you really step back and look at our, your life, the fact that we got up this morning, the fact that we were even born, if you think about all the complications that could have happened in order for us to be conceived and be carried out of a mother's womb for nine months and to be birthed and like we're vulnerable as babies, anything could have happened. But we're here. We're here. If you get up in the morning and you can see, you can you can speak, you can hear, you can feel, you can eat food, you can put your your clothes on. You are blessed. You have something to be grateful for, and that trumps all the BS that you experience from day to day. So that is my share. I hope that inspired you in some way. Uh, we have a few more days ago, and um, I know this is definitely has been transformative for me. And I hope that it's it's being trans it's it's transforming for you as well. Okay, everyone. Peace and love. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.